welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII The Rebirth. It's been 10 days for me. I was away in London at the premiere of the brand new Netflix show Three Body Problem and because I stay in Scotland, whenever we have to go traveling, it's a full thing, unfortunately. So it's not just like you go away for the day and then you come back or whatever. You go away for multiple days and then you've got the dog sitter and full thing. Okay, but I am back. I feel like I left it at a section that I was really unhappy to leave it at, you know? Although I do feel like I probably would have felt that way anyways, but... How good was Cosmo Canyon? Round of applause for Cosmo Canyon. And at some point, so, I feel like how's Cloud holding up? Mako we need to discuss Red's new on. voice. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on, the guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A Zack of all trades. <laughs> Zack of all trades, I love that. Think about it. I'm just happy to be back with you, Zach. Ah, oh, crisis core, no! <laughs> Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar, fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off pedal lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who'll risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. Don't tell me you're not Things going, Zach. Friends. I wonder how that rift looks to all the folks. I think I said this in a previous episode that I thought this game had 18 chapters and it actually has 14. Hey, so I can't believe your how life? close I am to the end here? of this game. Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't use to, it's but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. I just kind of pulls on my heartstrings a little bit that I wonder if you went through something where you were certain you were gonna die, and yet you managed to make your way out of it. I suppose you would think that you're now on, I don't want to say borrowed time, but extra time, like a hundred percent. I don't know, I hey, feel like bitch. I would do a lot of things that I'm too before, scared to do. Picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Cause one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud, he didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> <laughs> Weird. My internal These clock's days, busted. Every time I yeah, sleep, mine too. I about all the things What's I that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. So, what so wait a minute. To our baby? There's something happening it's to their strange. memories as face. well. It's like they're not remembering how they should be? Is that how I'm picking that one up? I just hope I can put on a good smile. You know, well, mm -hmm. isn't that just perfect? I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. 
Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like, the guy who only has to worry about the how. And doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? You were the guy uh, with Aerith, right? Whoever brought you back, I guess? Come on, everyone. Thing in the sky, it'll someone? be okay. Let's who all dance. Could it have been? That's a good question. It is interesting that it's Biggs, though. Let's just do what we but then I suppose that's not the, the purpose of all this. Like, that's ahead. not the point. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. I'm just feeling so confused about just all of this situation. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> oh! Hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. I so told you out. I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. Aw, buddy. Biggs. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's got to be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. This is why I love Zach so much. The world's He's so lucky positive. To have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? Where is his home in this place? Because I don't feel like that I know it, unless I'm having a complete brain moment, but I want to see where that bag is. There you go. Yeah, exactly. So she did hope to join Avalanche. Like, why did she get so weird, though? Like... Yeah. So I feel like if he's going up this way, he's potentially on his way to Eris's house. And that's not home for him. Right? Okay, this could be odd. I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Oh, okay. I, I was I having such a weird Biggs. moment there, but I was like, where's his really? actual house? Uh, Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Not soon that enough, soon. Marlene. Soon enough. 
I wouldn't want to say that to her like, yeah, you'll see them soon. <laughs> if they're dead, that is. That's not very nice. Like, I'm not getting it at all. It's me. The wind. That was you, wasn't it? Hello in there. <laughs> I'm like, can she feel that? What? We've arrived. So strange, you guys, so strange. I need this timeline, Eris, to just get Zack again. I just want a happy ever after. Like, is it too much to ask for? I kind of feel like it is. Still standing. Hmm? Village of the Gear. Bye then, I guess. Okay. In the original, we went from Cosmo Canyon to Nibelheim. We just kind of left. We had the buggy. All was good in the world. But I'm like... They obviously changed the section with Red, and he went through trials, and that was different. I feel like this is the area that maybe should have been in Cosmo Canyon, so it kind of makes sense that we've got something different. Okay, that looks like for you. Okay, I need to, like, actually use her. <laughs> I mean, I do use her, but what I mean is I'm trying to learn her stuff. So this one I have equipped and she's learned Chrono Aegis. I feel like Arcane Wind, we should just... Well, we'll do Radiant Ward because that's what we're doing just now. And then we'll do Arcane Wind. I mean, that is... Yeah, she is in my party. So why are things a little bit weird? Prayer, healing, healing, okay, I will take that, and I will take, see these ones are great, but they, they take so long to actually level up, I mean look at red, this is ridiculous you guys, like he has everything, my gosh. Um, what was this one? The Brave. Probably good for later on. Um, I think he has luck already. I don't... Actually, no, he doesn't. So he's got two HPs and luck. And Cloud has nothing! What is going on? What... What did I do in the last episode? What caused this? <laughs> okay, we'll keep this one. I'm like, who did I play as? I think it was just we had Red and Barrett and that's, that's what happened. So I think Barrett has all of his goodies. And I shall take... That's a pretty good one, actually. 
HP up. That's good as well. Okay, I... I want to stick with the Moogles. I can't help it. Like, I like the Moogles. And let's go for... an MP. That, yeah, it's so strange. I'm like, I could have sworn that we... We had stuff equipped, but we obviously didn't have anything equipped. I'm finding myself ever so slightly confused by the Zack story. Um, obviously I do understand that Eris is the one that kind of changed the course of things, like with the whispers and, and all that good stuff, but it's still like a little bit confusing, you know? Oh, who had haste equipped, actually? Because that was pretty decent. Mm, that could be pretty good for Cloud, actually. And yeah, I'll just get that for Cloud. It's funny now because a lot of the people who we're playing this like alongside me. There's an update. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Um, yeah, they're all miles ahead of me now. Right, so which one? I don't actually think it was. Wasn't that one? This one, yes. Okay, and our synergy. Mm, I was wanting to save up a little bit more than that, if I recall. Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone. Yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome. Forever denied the planet's embrace. <sighs> I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. I mean, that's what Yuffie says all the time, too. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Yuffie, slow it down a little bit because I'm going to be nosy. Because if I'm not nosy and I miss a chest, I will be told off. I do know this. But I mean, I'm still going to miss stuff anyway. You know how it goes. So this must be a section that was in... Cosmo Canyon when you play as Red. Hi guys! I don't like these things. God, I feel like it's been so long since I played this game. I'm like, how do I play it again? Hold on, I'm trying to learn the bloody buttons again. How do I dodge? Is it sorry? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> You guys! Don't okay, I wanna play 
play as Aerith because I want to get her thingy up. So she is working on this one. Uh, wait a minute. Cloud? I just realized we're all dying. Okay. And like, just watch me get a game over as we uh, start. This should help. This is horrendous. There was me thinking that like it didn't matter so much. I could just like go easy, but uh, I'm gonna die. Yo. Okay, I thought we were just having like a chill, you know? I do apologize. I literally haven't played this in like almost two weeks and my brain is suddenly like, what do I do again? Okay, let's try that again. I want to assess them. Okay, so they're weak to fire, which is good, because I think... Okay, so you don't have fire. What was the one I really liked? Was it Disorder? Yeah, so let's talk about it. The elephant in the room, you guys. Which would be, does nobody have fire? Am I really doing this to myself? Um, sure, why not? You got this. Here goes. There was a lot of people I've been talking to who were saying that they just really didn't like the fact that they changed the voice for Red. Now, for me personally, um, it caught me by surprise. Like, I will say that much. Yeah, sorry about that. And can you take over for I got me? This. Keep it together. <laughs> yeah, like, for me, I'm so used to him being this, like, cutesy little. I don't know, like, even though his voice was deeper, I still felt like he was this cutesy little thing. And then suddenly he's got this voice of like, hi everybody, like I'm seriously young. And yeah, it just, it threw me, you know? It completely threw me. And I am not complaining about it. It was just a bit strange, so. I can kind of understand where people are coming from. That in regards to them changing his voice, they were kind of like, what are you doing? You know, like that is so weird. But you know, I think Red is a cutie pie. He's still one of my favorite characters and suddenly changing his voice is not going to take that from me. interesting this place um before we go anywhere if these guys are gonna be weak to fire then I'm gonna swap out this one for... but why do you have them both doesn't make any sense um wait right, I'll take this one she got like two fires, you know? Now it's really funny, one of my friends was saying to me, and they've got a lot more hours in this game than I do, and they were like, I finally beat a summon! And I'm like, wait a minute. 
You only just be a summon. There's no hope for me. Like, if you only just manage to do it, then what the heck am I supposed to do? Right, let's use... Oof, that was nice. I'm gonna use Radiant Ward. Ow. Heal me, Cloud! These guys are actually really tough. Right, I'm not happy about that. Which is good. This is gonna hurt. Go on. Oh, what I get? What I get? My empowerment materia. <laughs> Yay! Okay, now I can actually change. Right, that is awesome. I don't like this place. These guys are tricky. Okay, let's go into Eris and. I'm gonna go back to this one. Actually, that one's not great either, to be honest. But we'll go for this one because I said so, I guess. Right, so she has healing, fire, raise. There's something so creepy about the music here. Gosh, what game is it reminding me of, you guys? There, it's reminding me of something. Ah, uh, I can't think, I can't think. Um, that is gonna annoy me so much. Okay, wind damage up, let's go for... Tempest. Yes, that's a good one. MP is always like the thing I struggle the most with in this game. Like, it never wants to give me MP. Why does it hate me that much? Oh! There is but one thing that can deliver unto us ultimate salvation. And that is materia. So an ultimate materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! In the materia of peace, we shall find the end for which we have long. I gotta say, it must suck. Imagine, and I, I'm, I don't know anything about death, okay? It's not as if I've ever died before and I'm like, it's great, you guys, but I can imagine that it's like, you get to live forever. So, oh, all right then. Don't know. There's a part of me that's like, would you wanna live forever? Like, I'm in chronic pain, so the thought of living forever to me is like, only if I cannot be in chronic pain. That's cool. Our wish is not to exist, but rather to no longer exist. Ultimate salvation is nothingness? Okay. In the purest of materia, we place our hope and faith. Yeah, I don't know comment section if you had the option to live forever see this is where it gets tricky because then you're like well do i live forever from the age i'm at now or like how does it work exactly so i suppose i'd say you live forever from the age you are right now would you wanna this looks like a boss boss if i ever seen one don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Yeah. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. 
It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! <laughs> sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, purest of material no more. With pain and spite they lack. Steeped in our one desire, purest of material no more. They want us to help them die. That's what they want. Black materia. Uh oh. Go away, Severov. He's in my mind. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. I feel kind of bad for them though. You know, if only there was a way that we could actually help them. But instead, we're gonna end up fighting against them because obviously the Black Materia. I don't remember much about the Black Materia. Right, did I swap out? God, what is with my brain today? My brain is not functioning. Can you not? No, you're fine, girl. You're fine. After you. Stop dodging, you horrible thing. Okay, Cloud's dead. Here he comes. Needs more magic. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, let's put this on cloud. Don't kill me. I don't know, like which one summons them. That's the problem. You're out of luck. Um. 
I don't think this is looking good. Okay, look at everyone's HP. Um. get her um, ATB up as quick as I would like. Um, I don't know how, you guys. I don't know how I just survived that. Like, look at the state of everybody. Like, this is really quite tricky. I'm gonna run out of items for everyone. Let's not do that. Um, right, let's get you. See what I mean? Like, that takes up so much of your MP. Well, we're just gonna have to use Eris and we'll get her to draw out some MP. That's pretty much the only thing that I think I can do right now. Other than that, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. I understand all of this, you know? I think that is great. I understand. But, just don't take it out on the planet. You know, that kind of vibe. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, he to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship or temple. Temple of the Ancient. No. I have an idea. At least I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. 
Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> this is not the time. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. It appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. You guys are gonna have to help me out a little bit here in the comment section. So we go to Cosmo Canyon. Huh? And then get I taken by this back? thing. Yeah. And he puts us on a new mission. Like, I feel so confused. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Oh, little one. Uh, yeah, I feel really confused. I'm like, what just happened? You know, like one minute we're finding out about his dad and how he's not like a complete waste of space and how he protected them and he's up there and he's great. And then the next thing you know, we're getting taken and told. It's good to see you again. That we need to retrieve the Allow black material. Allow me to you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Like, can Bugenhagen just, like, gaze a little bit of a lowdown, or...? <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? <gasps> no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! I love that everybody so just tends to shove yeah, off what yes. Yuffie says. What do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Oh, not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? Have they set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Yeah, Boogie seems to know everything. Boogenhagen. Yeah, so far I've been following the story decent, and now I'm super confused. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me, but if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes, now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. <laughs> but now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Cetra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Cetra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. 
If instead it is a sign of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Let's go do it! Do you remember when, um, Red wouldn't even allow you to, like, touch him? And now he's giving it all like, yeah, yeah, scrooge, scrooge. Uh-huh. So speak with one of the guides and they will escort you to various locations around the settlement. A privileged service offered only to guests of fellow Bugenhagen. Ah, uh, I suppose I ought to seal the da, door da, 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 once da. again. Yeah, please do. There's some weird gi down there, and I don't want to deal with it. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Uh, sure. Okay, this is cool. So the place is that big that I can actually just do what we do at the uh, gold saucer. Just love the music. Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibelheim? Nibelheim, there we go. Nibelheim. Nibelheim, ain't that? Pratifa and I grew up. Oh, of course. Nibelheim had a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. Why don't we call Sid? But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. That's crazy because... It was never that far away from Cosmo Canyon. Cloud, proto relic energy signature confirmed, and relatively close to you. While the signal is on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. Okay. I'm really looking forward to, um, Getting a little bit further ahead in my let's plays and then being like, right, you guys, you know what? I'm gonna spend a bit of time and actually just like run around this him. place, you know? It's just hard because it means I have to take time off work. And at the moment I'm super busy. I just wanna play this game. You just worry about getting to Nibelheim. I can look after him. Do, 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 do. But I don't wanna leave. I will be back, okay? I will be back. That just makes me so sad, you guys. So sad. <sighs> Anyways, an hour into the video. How are we all doing on this fine... Uh, what 
day is it? I am filming this on a Wednesday. And yeah, I've just been so busy because I've got my collaboration channel with Stijo and we have been doing quite a few different series at once. So just trying to find the time to like keep up with everything. I've kind of ditched doing um, reactions at the moment, like on my channel. I'm still doing Invincible and I'm also doing solo leveling. Oh yeah! Hey girl, what are you learning? Not that. He nearly just pushed her straight off the cliff. That would be it. Like she would be dead. One more shot. Stop blocking you piece of poop. Right, let's try this again. Let's get serious. Gotta go for it now. This one's for you. It actually it takes Ares quite a long time to build up. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Someone looks kind of shaky. Her ATB. My turn. You're done. Does he have anything to learn? No. That's over. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My healing materia. Yeah. That's good. So yeah, usually I'm doing like Bleach and all sorts of other anime, but just at the moment, like, because I, I've been looking forward to this game for so long and all of my friends have currently finished it and they keep having a go at me and being like, you need to hurry up because we need to talk. <laughs> um, but I'm, it's a work in progress, okay? I'm working on it, you guys. Okay, so he needs two ATP for that. Funny, because I know I will get used to his new voice for Red. It's just taking a minute, you know? There's another subject that I actually would want to talk about as well. So I saw... I think it was the Rad Brad, right? I saw him do a video on this game. And he totally clickbaited it, he called it sorry, so everyone thought he was quitting YouTube. It's a YouTuber thing. And um, yeah, so he was complaining that he was having all sorts of copyright issues with playing this game. And that for that reason, he was choosing to actually cancel the series on his channel. Since then, I've had quite a few people asking me you know, what is it like with the copyright on this game? And... Ah, uh, he's got the time material, okay. I have to say, like, it's actually fine <laughs> for me. Like, I don't genuinely know what issues he's been having with his Let's Play. Um, I don't actually talk much to him. In fact, I haven't spoken to the Rad Rad in years. Like, we used to be quite like have a, an open communication but ever since I kind of moved to reactions I feel like I I don't actually talk to as many gamers as I used to and he's one of them unfortunately so I don't know what his issue is with the copyright on this so that like I can't really help or anything like that but I think yeah I don't know what issues you were having like so what happens with me is my videos get claimed 
Which, what, so what I'm having is that the revenue's getting shared between myself and someone else or something else, who knows. But um, all that I do is I dispute it and basically I dispute it under fair use because that's what I believe it to be. And I give them my reasons, you know, I, I go through it, I give them like a, a good paragraph or whatever about why I believe it to be fair use. And then it just comes off. So I was quite taken back when I heard that there was people having issues where they were disputing it. And then some people were even getting strikes. I was like, what? What, 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 what? It's crazy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the issue is there. But um, I just want to let you guys know that I won't be stopping my Let's Play. Because I had some people asking, like, are you having issues as well? Like, what's happening with you? And I'm good. <laughs> you know, not great for other people, but totally fine on my end. It's on you, girl. One more shot. It is difficult doing YouTube. I think it's actually harder nowadays with YouTube because, well, I don't know. I think copyright used to be worse, actually, than what it is nowadays. But I also understand that for some people, like, this is their full-time job, and it's not great when you put your time and effort into something, and then it gets claimed and, and all that. Take the lead. It's a pain in the butt. Where'd you go? Oh, hello! Moving on, then. What a strange enemy. Yeah, so I can imagine like it's a pain and it's not very nice when you just want to share your gameplay like with your audience and I need to know what this is! <laughs> it looks actually crazy, you guys. Kind of ridiculous. But yeah, I had it too. I uploaded my part one of this um, when the game dropped and I think I had like four claims throughout the entire video. I was like, you little bastard. <laughs> you know, but I think I'm that used to YouTube being annoying now that it didn't shock me in any way. It was more just like, okay, that's annoying. Um, oh, I saw you. I I'm going to have to dispute that. And that was it, really. Hello, hello, hello. Give me the goodies. I cannot wait to have the time to actually sit down and just, like, explore this game, you guys. Oh, I'm going to sink at least 400 hours into this game. Easy. Like, at the moment, I don't even know what half this stuff means. And I'm on, what, chapter 10? But I just think it must be so nice to be able to play this game not as a YouTuber. And uh, here comes my woe is me story. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it must be so nice to, like, finish work, come home, and be like, not tonight, honey! I'm playing Final Fantasy. Go away. But also make me dinner, but then go away. I want to just play this game constantly. Like, it must be so nice, you know? What is this? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Chokey! That's pretty chocobo don't you think? What gave that away, huh? Okay, okay. You 
see nothing. See what you think you see? You see nothing. A pony. I want my pony. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Oh my goodness! No, quit yourself! Oh, you're quick. Don't look this way. I hate the word wrangle. I think it's because if you change some of the letters, you get a strangle. And I'm not gonna strangle a chocobo, okay? How am I supposed to? Oh yeah, you think you see it, but you see nothing. Love the sounds they make. Okay, um, look away. Don't shake your head at me. Look away. I will wrangle you. I'll do it. Don't. No, it didn't. Chokey didn't see nothing. What? This is kind of tricky, man. Okay, I need some rocks or something. No, no, go away. Damn it, I hit retry. There we go, okay, okay. I need some. That was a checkpoint for reals. Okay, so that. Look at him, he's he's the problem. Okay. What am I supposed to do? It did. It worked. Okay. Right. Let's give this a flip. Do, do, do. I just, I love the music. It's so good. I'm coming, pony. Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that one's asleep. Oh, so cute, though. Right, you used to... No. Turn. I love the way they turn their heads and they're kind of like... I think something's happening here. But I'm not sure. You gonna stay? Stay there? Okay. I'm done with that one. We're not even looking at him. I don't feel like... Like, I feel like I need a rock. Or something. Okay, there's that guy over there. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just acting as if they're people. There's that guy over there. We need to get past him. Let's go. Bye, Chokey. I'm scared he's gonna see me. I don't know where the next... Oh my god, did it see me? 
Okay, we have rocks. We have rocks. Nice, that was easy. So what I think we need to do... Pop that there. You're not getting away. Give me that rock. Thank you. This is just its so interesting to me to be able to actually catch your chocobo like this. I think it makes it so much fun. Because then you feel satisfied. You're like, yes, I got it. All mine. Wait a minute. That's not right! No one told me that was gonna happen. Okay. I'm gonna have to get the chocobo. I just love the way it's looking at me. To turn around uh, by throwing a rock. I'm gonna have to leave this here. this time This rock here. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's throw. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! I was like pressing R2 and I was like, it's not working, it's not working, let's go. I think I got plenty of time. Okay. Right, we got some more rocks here. I'm gonna get you. First time. Right. What? what? You saw nothing. I'm not even here. Goodness me. Go to sleep. Oh my goodness. You see how quickly that came off? What? We saw nothing. <laughs> Okay, these ones are way more stressful. Awesome! I love my birdie. 
Okay, the birds of the Vale are fearless and can leap from certain ledges to fly across the region's steep chasms. While on Chocobac, take flight from gliding ranges marked with yellow and ride the generator's air currents to excuse me. Okay. Bye guys. I got my teal colored choke bow. Okay, I, that makes me want to go back up here because there was a... There was a thing up here and I remember being like... Oh, hold on, hold on. First time. Too many birds. We have to do it. Like, we just got the chocobo. The least we can do is fly off the edge with it. Okay, here we go. I just want to do it. Why not? Do I have to dash? I was dashing. Hmm. Hold on a minute. It's not actually letting me do it yet. I think the fact that it's roped off. Could <laughs> that find a chocobo? Spot. Yeah, I think the fact that it's roped off shows to me that I'm actually not allowed to do it just yet. So. Whatever. Off we go then. Back to see Sid. Guys, this area is rather large, though. I look forward to having a proper look around it. I love seeing red on Choki go back. Watch out, Choki! Deal with that. Sorry. Oops. member of the team. Alright, city, my boy. I'm scared for him to try and actually land his plane here. But he's an expert. There was like something else that just kind of popped up for a second there. Unless I'm crazy. All right, let's do it. I'll make the phone call. So 
So this is exciting. We are off to Nibelheim. Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift to Nibelheim, could you? A little far, but not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Oh my goodness! So I can go back to Junon, cross to Del Sol. Oh, this is great! This is like so good now that it's like opened up all of this. I'm guessing I'm not gonna get to actually drive the airship though. Which is a shame. Like this is as good as it gets really. I just kinda drive like this. Wait, so yeah, we're going completely over the water, huh? Like I never complain when there's like a change in the game. It's just God, those birds really got sliced. <laughs> just unusual. I'm just trying to make Yuffie sick. I see it. Okay, we're coming in for landing. At least this is a nicer landing strip. Ready? Cosmo Canyon, I think one of my favorite, favorites. Oh, I loved it. I'll loved that art. Bye, Sid. Hey, Sephiroth, wait up. Bring me the black materia. <laughs> Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. Oh, hey, a new summon, Odin. Gosh, let me just say though. I don't have any summons at all because they are impossible. Oh, the bunnies are so cute though. They're impossible. Like, I don't know what level I'm supposed to be in order to get them, but it's not level 35 or whatever the level might be that I am. So it's good we've got this telephone box here, so it means that I can kind of run around all the different areas. It's just strange uh, to me that... I meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. Aye. Not so worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rut. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but... What I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah. It's this or nothing. Good to go. Oh gosh. We're all getting attacked. I'm coming. Keep him away. You okay? Huh? 
about being almost in the 40s and I don't mean my age I mean the game I feel like I've been level 35 or whatever for so long but the issue being is that I'm not doing like a ton of grinding just now in the game and I will say that in Cosmo Canyon I did really quite struggle I think though, if the boss in Cosmo Canyon didn't actually cast Doom right at the end, then I probably would have been absolutely fine. But it did. And it was kicking my butt. Okay, now we just need to go and find um, my good old friend, Chadley. So, another brand new area, as massive as they get. Time to do some grinding. Although, unfortunately, I don't have that much time today to actually sit and play, which is, you know, it is what it is. Right, where are you leading me? This way? Wait, I can't go in the water. Or maybe I can, actually. It's on you. Just like that, okay? Can I? I am seeing something over here. Where is my buggy, anyway? What is that? Weird. Okay. Slumbering uh. within the Nebel sanctuaries is Odin, the patron knight of war and death. He rides in from the land of the dead, astride his steed, Sleipnir, claiming the souls of fallen warriors as his own. Or so the stories say. Deal with Odin, okay? How about that? Yeah, oh, I haven't done one of these actually since right at the start of the game. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> How am I supposed to know where that one went? Like that could have just gone up miles. What is that thing? Like I'm trying to follow your lead, but you're leading me in circles. What is this? Look, it's like bobbing. <laughs> it's like there was something under the water that was taking it places. Um, maybe it's up and around here? There are tons of those flying things. Like, I wonder... Look at them. Like, why? It's so weird. Hello. Deal with that. Ready? I'm coming. Next step. One more shot. How about you back off? Let's go. Nice. Yeah, I feel like maybe what I was just doing is up here. Whoa. Has 
to be. Like, hello? See, this is stuff that I haven't really seen yet. Oh gosh, not good. Because I don't tend to run around too much in this game. I'm always like, right, this is where it wants me to go and like, that's fine. But when I actually do start running around, I'm always like, oh my God, I am gonna die. <laughs> Don't be killing Clive now. No need to panic. Darn it. <laughs> Just watch. Fear me. Fear anyone. Coming at you. Stop blocking me. Up and at. the quickest I've ever fleed from anything. Like, I really want that, but... Whew. Okay, I feel like we could try it again. Let's work out... Work out what their weaknesses are. It's the fact that this little douche is permanently dodging me. Right, let's have a look. Allow me. Okay, so this is fire. Ready? I'll take too much. Is, it actually works out for you. 
So yeah, I just want to kind of talk about it a little bit. I'm a bit confused about just what happened after Cosmo Canyon. It just kind of went a little bit strange, didn't it? I will definitely be sending some text messages to some friends after this episode and being like, can someone just tell me, like... I'm assuming the Gi were in the original game in Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure that was a thing. Um, but I just think in this one, it was slightly different, right? <laughs> right, I have no idea. I think so anyways. And I just, I kind of like how shady we are. Uh-oh. Okay, guys. Gloves up. Rare Valron variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. It is thought that the ominous coloring of this variant is meant to intimidate its enemies. This corresponds with its aggressive nature. Once it finds prey, it attacks in a frenzy. As an aside, Valrons were sighted in this area only after the Mako reactor was constructed. Because of its humanoid form, there were rumors at the time that these creatures were actually humans who had undergone a horrific Oh, maybe they are humans that were in the, um, in the reactor. Oh man, I don't, do I even have a Blizzara? Like, is that a thing? Okay, you do not have any. Thing. So it's my turn? I know you can do this. No, nah, okay, so it's up to Cloud. Zara. Like, that's not great, is it? Just when things like that happen and you're like, well, wait a minute here. What do I do? You know? Okay, I am actually going further and further away from where I want to be. So what is this place? Hello? Can't go that way, guys. Duh! Did you not read the memo? They've done such a good job with this game, like, every single world map area is unique. They all look different. And I feel like sometimes when you do an open world game, you can fall into a trap of rinse and repeat, you know, where everything just looks the same and it, it does get really repetitive. And this game, like, luckily does not fall into that trap. I'm kind of digging that. Whee! I just want to know what some of these things are. I feel like, do you know what it reminds me of? It's just, it's twigged, you guys. It reminds me of Mario. That's what it is. The entire time I was like, what are these things, you know? But yeah, it's the floating Mario things. 
<laughs> what the heck? I've been playing a lot of Mario lately, actually. I really enjoy it. It's not something that I grew up playing, but because it's like a ton of fun to just like sit on the sofa and play, I really enjoy it. Like that was just one little way that we went there and there was a ton of things that we could do. You know what I mean? Like this game is huge and I really am going to take my time and look at things. Oh, hello. Okay, I do not like the look of these frogs. That's it, we keep coming. First time back since. Yep. First time. Same here. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. Sorry. <laughs> It's all right. Lots happened since then. Uh, Cloud, stay close, would you? I honestly Aww. thought I was ready for this, but it's just too real. And there it is. Oh. So much for burnt down, huh? Built it all the same as well blows my mind. Cloud, look at this. It's it's brand new. They rebuilt the whole village. Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost, because it looks different. So, who do you think we built it? Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. Kate Sith is so unlikable. Like it kills me, you guys. This is Nibelheim. We got some business here. All right, so we are back in Nibelheim, back at the very start of the game. It's just so funny that they would it's okay. they would the remake it. That's strange. So perfectly. You know? Even the water tower. Well, shit. A lot of robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. Only they aren't quite the same, are they? Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. 
Don't stay too long. Imagine someone said that to you. Like you just walked back into your hometown and someone's like, wow, yeah, don't today. stay too long. Like, are you kidding me? Well now, who might you be? Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef. Hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. I'm literally just walking into... Oh. They say I'm Hi. <laughs> like, do you always just, like, cook with a random black robe in your house? Now don't you go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Mako poisoning? Yep. I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm. Or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That and needle marks on their arms. At least I think they are. Although... We do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Wait, that makes it three types then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. And the numbers? Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning though, doesn't it? I mean, why are you so happy about this? And who are you talking to? There's no one there. They say I'm... <laughs> As I said, most have these numbers. Ta of course, there are... Wait, did I say two types just now? Or three? Okay, or I shall um or... leave you to your cooking, basically. Now, I have had quite a lot of criticism in regards to how amazing... Joke. How terrible I am at the card game in this. So, I do look forward to getting better at it. So it seems like there's a lot of people I can talk to in this Question. village this and play with. Been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just... <sighs> Gotta lend the medical team a hand today. Hey, Eris, this is for where Tifa and Cloud go, not you. To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the end. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. So let me guess. This is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? <laughs> Probably. Sounds like something I'd do.
If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. I find it really hard sometimes not giving Eris I'm the best down. answer. I think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. But obviously, I'm still wanting like a different date. But yeah, I do feel bad. Mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings. More than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. That kind of made me want to low-key cry. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. I know it's not the village you knew, but it's still nice. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Oh man, that up. was hard, you know? Like, you angry at me? No, just in general. You know, that was really quite heartbreaking where she just kind of wanted to be normal. But she, oh my gosh. Ah, I thought that was real for a second there. But she doesn't know what that feels like. Everywhere you look, you don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? I just want to know what they're rounding him up for. The hell if I know. Nothing good, though. Oh, it's, it deepened. Oh, wow. You never know what is the right thing. Uh oh. Memories, memories. You never know what is the right thing to say. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What, not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kind of depends on the angle. Hm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgard? Yep, real city mouse. Oh, it's all coming out now! Zach. It's like, who the hell is hey. Zach? From Gungaga. Over heels for Eric. We fought together as soldiers. You were here with me five years ago. You came with me on the mission. so good so good okay so he's remembering now about blooming time i've been so excited to kind of have everything out in the open okay so we've talked to barrett actually i might just see what else he has to say 
These boys are lucky they got us looking out for them. <coughs> if Shinra tries anything, <coughs> she will succeed. Excuse me, sorry. Listen, Cloud. I don't know what went down five years ago, but I'm here for you and Tifa. Whatever you need. If it's too much, just say the word. We'll leave. Love you, Baron. These boys are lucky they got us looking out for them. If such Shinra a good guy, him, man. Okay, got the town hall. I'm actually, I'm trying to find this. red. Oh. Okay, so that's where Kate is. I just want to continue to call him what I used to call him, which is Cat Sith. But everyone's like, oh, Kate Sith. I'm like, that just doesn't sound right to me. You certainly don't look ill. Through, I take... Listen, you have no idea what is actually going on in my brain. God, there's so many of them, though. Could you imagine if you were living there? I feel so bad for these people. They did nothing to deserve this. I hope I will it's nice, though. At least everyone's kind of okay. treating them with Perhaps. respect, you know? So wait, that's Tifa's house. They've turned it into like a medical place. Gotta lend the medical team another six months and I'm But where's Red? Is he just like chilling somewhere else? Why don't we take a shot? Like I was kinda hoping that I could uh, deepen my relationship with Red as well, but Right, what's happened? I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Or it could be he's in trouble. Dally -dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. It's so obvious that you can't trust Kate Sith. He's no, just... He's a little slime ball of a cat. There's Red! So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. <laughs> All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough gonna be? Cause nothing You'll ever goes right while. here. Sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. But make it snappy. My materia needs me. Um... I'm gonna say no for just a second. Cause I wanna talk to Red. Talk to me, Red! Okay, so I have to talk to Yuffie. All right, you guys, I am all out of time for this episode of Final Fantasy. I would play on a little bit more, but my husband is sick and I promised that I would make him dinner. Now, how this is gonna turn out, I don't know. He might end up looking like this guy in the black robe by tomorrow. <laughs> There's a big chance. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.